I feel broken, disrespected, um, lonely. Can I say, I feel there's been a lot of emotion that's been flying around all week and it's just built up. And Tom has got so much pent up energy right now. And in my opinion, he's ready for a fight with the world. He's ready for it. I have tried to support Thomas, to defend Thomas, to put out fires, and I just wanted that stuff to go away. So much has happened in your life. I think there's just so many, like, barriers that are five years old and 10 years old in our way sometimes. Mm -hmm. This week, um, we've had multiple conversations. I think on count, I apologised six times. And because Adrian wasn't happy with the quality of the apology, he just persistently was berating me. You know, if I'm too loud, it's wrong. If I'm too quiet, it's wrong. I can't do right for doing wrong. So I'm being made out to be like this vengeful, evil person. We've had a good week and I have bent over Backwards, I have tried and wanting to be supportive. Can we just go to the dinner party for a second? As the evening progresses, mm -hmm. it appears as if there is some issue that yes. is bubbling in the group. Yeah. So something was said that I'd apparently said, um, and I've come into this process really naive. Um, really far too open and honest about my feelings, probably. I just feel a little bit uh, blindsided and like there's a, a lot of things that um, aren't true. And it, like there's a lot of fakery and I think I'm just, I've just been stupid. In my normal day-to-day -day life, I've been through so much. You know, it's took me such a long time to get to the place of being who I am. I'm not going to be shrunken down and lied about and have my name dragged through the mud by people who don't pay my bills or feed me or lie with me. Absolutely not. I am not happy. My energy tank is empty and I'm not going to sit here and lie and play fake and pretend that everything's rosy because it's not. And I've had enough. I am absolutely done and I'm not speaking again and don't touch me. You just said something, I think it's the heaviest thing I've ever heard you say. Mm -hmm. You said, I've been through too much. Yeah, way too much. What have you been through? I've been verbally abused, physically abused, homophobia, all that <laughs> Every gay person has probably been through at some point or another, and I'm not having anyone throw my name and lie about me because one thing I'm not is a liar. I'm in such place and no one's tilting my crown. I have had enough. Wow. Okay. I've got this, Tom. Despite what's happened this week, Tom, there is so much support for you in this room. Yes. We love you. Yes. There is a lot of love for you. Here. Yes. Yeah, and your tissue. Yes. Do you want time? It's time. It. I actually it's can't me. even believe that he's done this. Are you okay with him lying about you? No, 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 no. no. Oh. Obviously, it's hard because we said this. he's not a liar, and he doesn't like the fact that his name's been dropped through mud. I think he's caught himself out so much in this situation because he did lie about it, and now it is now out to handle it, and he's exploding. But then it's like, well, how do I? How am I supposed to feel about that? Just because he's having a breakdown, that makes me a liar.